G'day. Here in Australia it's currently the annual school holidays. Our school year finishes in the week or so prior to Christmas and extends through until late January. So we have quite a few weeks over the Christmas New Year break in which to go on holidays, mix with friends and relatives and catch up. And uh, here I have a puzzle for you to share if you so desire. But first I'd like you to try and work it out for yourself. When I first saw it, it was presented to me complete. And I must admit I didn't get it for quite some time. I'm going to show it to you as I draw it. And I recommend you do the same because the drawing is a little bit misleading. And here we go. You draw something that looks like an M. On a bar. Next one looks like a heart on a bar. Next one looks like a clover leaf. You don't have to, as you see, you don't have to be terribly fancy about this. This one's a little bit tricky. This looks like the M shape with the bar moved up a little bit. This one here looks like this. And the question is, what shape goes here to continue this pattern? Now it doesn't complete the pattern, there are other shapes. But they're in an order, they're in a particular order, the order in which I drew them. And I invite you to try to work out what shape belongs here. This is something you can do with your friends, with your relatives. Uh, if you're a teacher, you can do it with a class. If you're a student, you can try it on your teacher, whatever. Because I've drawn it and talked about it as I've gone, I've, I've misled you slightly. Now, I'm going to invite you to pause the video and work it out for yourself before looking further. But if you haven't already worked it out, I'm going to give you a hint. And the hint is that I have used this in talking about symmetry. Let's pause, try to work it out yourself, and I'll be back in just 10 seconds or so. Well, here we are. I hope you've made an attempt. And when I, here I am dancing around in front of this. When I do this, uh, I either use my hand or a sheet of paper. I have one here. And this is what I do. Here's our first shape. Here's our second one. Our third one. Our fourth one. And our fifth one. If you haven't already got it, it's, it's funny because sometimes I've done this with people and it's taken two or three goes before they get the pattern. There's our first, our second, our third, our fourth, our fifth. Or if you like, one, two, three, four, five. It is startling sometimes how much we can be sidetracked by pat by moving bars and patterns and maybe the heart shape's got something to do with it. Maybe hearts and the clover shapes may be a bit club-like, maybe it's got to do with cards. Uh, all sorts of amazing things we think about when in fact it's quite simple. The numbers one, two, three, four, five, and of course this one here would look a bit like this. Uh, which is the number six, reflected horizontally. A very, very simple puzzle. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, 
I won't comment anymore, just something for you to have fun with. Thank you very much for watching.